guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on our pay to win account and a big shout out to all you guys for all of the team comps that we got on the Rift team comps video. There's a ton in there, so I'm gonna go over three common core teams that I have seen within here that a lot of players are running and a lot of players are doing really well with. So getting into the Temple Rift, um, looking at the Rift itself, we're gonna go ahead and battle and we are gonna get rid of these heroes be very careful looking at this lineup that they put right here um you can notice i have grez and i have thorin every single other hero is support now i don't know if that's because i built the support tree when i built out the temporal beacon so we have the support tree right here tank tree is still pretty high but ultimately the heroes that it placed in here for me these teams are not going to work and these teams are not going to work really at all um, due to the simple fact that I only have Grez and I only have Thorin in here. So the teams that we've really seen shining, of course, are the Einz team. Einz team, super impressive in here, has done very well. So a lot of players are running Einz and Alveto. Of course, they are very solid choice running together. Einz is going to give a solid buff to, um, or Alveto is going to give a very solid buff to Einz. Another one that they've been running is Arthur. We've seen Arthur um, over Ezio, over the Prince of Persia. We have seen Arthur run within these formations, working very well. Now, the, the hero that is really shining out of all of this is Ben Taylene. So Taylene does heal, um, does do a little bit of damage over time when she is dead. But ultimately, if you lose the hero, she is going to come back up, which is really powerful in team comps like this. And then the final one to finish out this formation in particular is Merlin. So when you look at this dynamic of our first team, you have Albedo and Ainz, and Albedo is actually buffing Ainz and buffing Arthur and Merlin in there, which is, again, a really strong team. You have Taylene in here for damage. Not only that, you have Taylene in here for healing. You have Merlin in here for healing and for the damage reduction factor that he has which is the reason why players are running this team in particular, because it is a very strong team. Now, one thing to look at is when it comes to badges, you want to make sure the build of the badges is exactly what you're looking for. Wielder's attack rating is increased by 10% when health is above 90. Very strong because remember, we are reliant on Ainz doing the damage. If I put a healing crystal on there, um, health recovery is, is increased by 10% when health is low. Chances are with Taylene and with Merlin, we do not want the health low. If the health is getting too low um, and this is triggered, I, I feel like we need something different in our formation. Then, of course, if the wielders dealt high amount of damage within three seconds, the following damage shall be um, decreased by 25% for several seconds. As you can see with the badges, they are not very particular to, hey, it's several seconds. Is it two seconds? Is it four or five? It doesn't say exactly how many. Um, and also it doesn't say what a high amount of damage is. They're, they're very general with the badges is what I've known or what I've seen. So looking at Ayn's guys right here would be the absolute badge that I would put on him. We want his damage to do more damage. Albedo, as you can see, we have a couple different ones. We have Iron Will. When a hero's health is above 90%, they receive less damage pretty good um, when a hero is on the enemy side of the battle. I do not like this one as much because the chances of the hero being on the enemy side of the battle, it, it is very RNG with how this is going to work because essentially if Albedo is on the allied side, we are not going to have any effect short of the stats from some of these badges. We have the Guardian Star. If two or more enemies are within range or struck with a normal attack, receiver, um, Damage received by the wielder is reduced by 5%. The Mark of Water. This is a crowd control win. When suffering effective crowd control, the wielder shall receive 20% less damage for the following three seconds. So not too bad overall with that one. And then, of course, every time the wielder triggers an ultimate ability, the cooldown time of other abilities is reduced by one second. And the hero's defense rating by 25% for three seconds so that's actually not a very bad one to use. Some of the other ones, of course, when it comes to the healers or when it comes to the support class, you can see they put Seal of Punishment on everyone. 
Several seconds after damage is dealt by the wielder's normal attack, damage received by the target of the we from the wielder is increased by 5%. Now, I'm not worried about Merlin doing that much damage, but an artifact like Divine Mercy, wielder provided, provides a hero with low health and additional 25 energy points. When they are healed, we know Merlin is going to be healing, healing all the time, so that is a very solid um, badge because we know he is going to be healing. There's actually a couple other ones that I liked, which there's one that does the crit right here. Three seconds after the wielder uses their ultimate ability, all allied heroes will have their crit rating increased by an additional 10%. Now that one is pretty strong when the wielder uses the ultimate. So we know Merlin is going to alt right off the bat because we have the nine of nine furniture meaning that crit rating is going to be increased by everybody on the team because he is going to be alting right off of, or right in the very beginning. So again, very strong artifact right there. Now, the second team that we've been seeing working very, very successful is the Ulnagrez team. So a lot of players, again, have reported um, Ulnagrez has been working super well for this one running Alna with Grez, running some additional crowd control. Now, a lot of players are running Damon with this one because Damon will scale. Um, some have been running Oden, again, due to th the scalability of either of these. I prefer Damon because of the shielding ability. We do have a couple badges that do offer shielding ability. And then uh, some players have been running either Silas or Desira or actually running both of those. So doing double support here um, allowing all of the other heroes to really scale, which it, I, in my opinion, is a pretty interesting combination. A, a variation of this that we've seen is actually dropping out Desira, which if you do not have Desira built, a, some players that I've seen are running Athalia. So very strong combination because you still get the, the five set bonus. Um, or running all the Greyborn team, but Athelia does have the ability to move within formations depending on who you're fighting. So again, this is another team that we see. Now, the problem that I find with this or the problem that I can see with this is the support heroes if you use a support hero. This is almost set up where you have to have double support heroes. So running a Silas and a Desira together um, could be very beneficial just because of the support element and the continuous element that we see here. So running actually two healers together can work very well and being reliant on the badges and the power of the other team comps that people are running in here. Now, another big thing that we've seen coming out of here, and this is kind of our second team comp that a lot of players have been running, is the boss team comps. So combining kind of team one and team two really works for the boss comps. We've seen Albedo and Ainz in the boss team comps with Grez, Taylene, and Merlin. So Grez seems to be the absolute boss killer, just like we've seen in the past. I, I tried Soros out, we've seen the Speedy Lizard has actually worked pretty well. Um, but ultimately, Grez is very strong with the minions. The minions will actually come up and they will um, provide that Shadow Shield. Shadow Shield will be broken, doing damage. It works super well. So a lot of players are running Albedo and Ainz. And then we're seeing Grez in that team comp as well as Taylene and Merlin. Again, Taylene being a pretty strong hero, especially if you have her build. If she dies or takes a lot of damage early, she will come back up. Merlin for the damage mitigation, allowing the team to work really well. And then of course, Elbeto buffing up Ainz to maximize the damage. But that has been the, the most frequent boss killing team that I have seen. Now, the other one that was pretty interesting, again, coming up, I, I brought up some of these team comps, is a lot of people are using the Speedy Lizard. So the Speedy Lizard consists of Saurus, and a good thing is a lot of players do have Saurus built, and then the Twins. The, the higher that you do have this team built um, works very well. I tried the God Tier comp, if you remember the first time, I did try the God Tier comp. Um, it worked okay, but it burned out a lot faster than I thought it would. It ultimately, it, it, it was a, a pretty difficult team comp. So the Speedy Lizard is actually the, the third one we're going to look at that a lot of players have been running. So the, the big thing with here is you have Rowan in here for support. 
Now he does very well with support. Um, unfortunately within the Temporal Rift, he doesn't heal or doesn't have the damage mitigation that I would like to see from a hero. Um, he works really well using potions when you need to, but to, to really make this team work in particular um, is Soros with that plus 30 signature item. So now when Soros gets five stacks, um, he will actually use, or he will heal the team, which is further kind, kind of put, put on by the twins. So the twins will cast their ultimate ability, allowing Soros to get those stacks faster, allowing him to heal faster. Aziz is going to feed energy to this entire team, almost like a super cycle, like what we see with the God tier comp. So Aziz is gonna feed to the entire team. He is also going to have the attack rating reduction, which is really strong. Plus he's gonna have the crowd control aspect with this feeble mind ability. Tassie in here, we have the slumber and we have the banish ability. Um, very strong crowd control. And then again, th this team is a team that we've run through a lot of the Trials of God that have worked very well to, to really push in the campaign. So this time I'm actually gonna try these two particular teams. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna set up all the badges, but I'm gonna try the Eins team is going to be my first team. Um, I, I was thinking the Speedy Lizard, so actually running the boss comps with Saurus instead of Grez, see exactly how that works. And ultimately, if it doesn't work out very well, we can reset this formation. We can go back to square one. But again, just to recap, um, Eins, Albedo, Arthur, Taylene, and Merlin. Very strong team comp that players are running in here. Team number one. Um, team number two running the Speedy Lizard. We've seen Saurus with the twins, Aziz, Rowan, and then Tassie. And team number three is Grez running with Alna, the Alna Grez comp in there. Um, again, a lot of players do run Damon. I've heard and seen a couple players that are running Oden and then running double support. So running Silas and running Desira together within that team comp, guys. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Very cool to see the Temporal Rift. Um, a lot of players are super disappointed that regardless of how many floors they're, they're pushing, um, it's skipping back to 25. I, I don't know if this is going to be the basis of where it's going to be. I would like to see, you know, like every 25 floors. So if I made it to floor 51, this would actually skip to floor 50 or, or something of that nature because it seems like players are being way set back and it's just spending an absorbent amount of time to go through here and get caught up on the floors. So again, guys, that will do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.